Today we're going to do a brand new beginning. We couldn't help but see him because he has on an orange blazer today. <laughs> um, and so, Brandy, I know we're over in your district. Yes. Um, and um, tell us a little bit of what, what inspired you to get together with Rise Up and Teach for America yes. and yes. the artists to make this, this mural project happen. So today, you have a collective group of organizations out here to address the light, but in a real fun way. How do we help enhance our neighborhoods with positivity, uh, coming together, cleaning up, Beat the pole. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, seven years ago, a group of students from Harper Job Corps Academy, up to the Harper Job Corps Academy, came down uh, with capital prep to address the blight in this area. There was graffiti everywhere, and what we did was simply took this entire wall, painted it white, and put "Making a Difference in the City of Harper." And so today, with the help of Teach for America, Rise Up. Uh, Capital City Alliance, Education Alliance, and a host of other organizations are here to address this area. And I believe what's happening today is really going to spark a movement in our in our city. So we're really excited about it. Really excited about what's happening. This is excellent. So I know you got a lot of uh, big things happening, but most importantly, you got the election next week. Yeah. So so what what, what is, what's going on with that? I mean, I know we we, we had a great conversation last night yep. about the importance of voting. Yep. yep. And so. I mean, what, what do you want to say to your constituents out, constituents out there So what I, voting? What I'd like to say to my constituency base is, number one, voting is important. And this guy right here is cool. Let me see that shirt. Let me see that shirt. Show the camera the shirt. <laughs> but no, I, all jokes aside, vote, uh, voting obviously is your right. It's a part of our democracy. But more importantly, things like this, these types of opportunities for young people to come together and have a stake in what our communities will look like, you can connect that to voting. And so many of these young people that are in high school, they're registered to vote. They will be out on November 8th casting their vote, of course voting for yours truly, but more importantly casting their vote for the next president of the United States. And so it's extremely important. Yeah, well, I, I, think, I think one of the things that's important about about this project and how you connect it back to the importance of voting. But let, let me, I don't mean to interrupt, yep. but I want to say this. I do like to thank all of the folks that helped to elect me in 2012. If you remember the time when I ran the first time around, uh, it was one vote, one vote that caused us to have a recount and a revote. Why am I saying that? Because there's somebody out there saying that my vote does not count. And so I'm here to tell you that every single vote uh, counts, every single vote matters, and that I want to see you on November 8th. So the point I was going to make before sorry, you had I'm to sorry. jump back in there I'm sorry. was I'm sorry. that for young people to be with individuals like you who is out here making it happen with them, people like Matt and other people we see out here with their suits on, watch his pants, it, it shows them that they have to stay involved in the community. So That's today right. it's like a community service project for them. In the future, they're gonna be the adults that are That's standing right. around uh, directing people and coming out with the great ideas right. to change their community. So, um, I mean, I, you know, we stayed, we were gonna leave. We just wanted to come back because we know you were coming. We wanted to do a little walk and talk. You got any last words you wanna to say to the people before we get out of here? I do wanna say this. Uh, many people didn't actually believe that these types of projects, this guy is hilarious. These oh, types sorry. of projects in the north end of Hartford, one of the most poorest areas in the neighborhood, can produce such talent. All of these individuals you see out here are young people from this neighborhood, young people that are doing great things, going off to college, but they realize that in order for our communities to be great, we have to address the blight and change the trajectory of our community. So, yo, I'm excited. Last words, make sure you vote on November 8th. Go to your polls. If you have any questions, hit me up on Facebook at Brandon L. McGee Jr. And uh, never thank stop you. dreaming. Never stop dreaming. That's it. Yeah. Dream station number two. Just moved here like That's two months show. ago. Oh, they show. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>